Yeah, I thought after we got those like jitters out in the first couple of innings of game one, our defense was solid all around. And I, I think, um, and then the rest of our infield has been, been solid too. The left side's been, been really solid. Denver makes some spectacular plays. Yesterday made a game-saving play, full extension laying out. So, um, you know, we, we need to make those big plays, but then we also need to stay focused and make all the little plays. And that's where we faltered a little bit today. Well, there was a lot on the line for this game, for these two games, and you know, going into senior day, it's hard. I mean, with the chance of this is going to be our last time playing ever, so you have that in the back of your mind. Let alone trying to play your heart out to get some hits or to try and get a win. Like it's very stressful, and it was a very, very emotional day. And but I mean, we had a good season, so thank you, um, everyone. It's been the best four years ever. Um, clearly, I love Buffalo a lot. Um, it's coming from Miami. It's quite the transition, but this has become my home, and I wouldn't take this experience for anything else. And I love those girls more than anything in the world. And just thank you for everything. Yeah, senior days are hard because you're celebrating your your leaders and the people that have really like been grinding it out with you for four years. Um, so senior, they're just emotional days and I think that um, these seniors are definitely going to be missed and you could tell by how hard the girls work to make this day special for them. So um, as a head coach we try to you know keep the emotion to a minimum and, and try to stay focused on the game and I thought the girls did a really good job of um, doing that and honoring their seniors with a really hard fight. But those are four girls that are for sure going to be missed for a lot of different reasons.